A moment of silence in St. Charles where students walked out of the classroom this morning. Today is the one month anniversary of the Parkland massacre in Florida. St. Charles is part of a huge nationwide event this morning. Thousands of students, teachers and staff participated. Yeah, the goal is to get tougher gun laws passed so schools, churches and other public places are safe for kids. A lot of events happening this morning. We are live in Barrington in just a minute, but first I want to get to Jessica D'Onofrio on the southwest side now. Jess. Yeah, Terrell, we are at Benito Juarez uh, Academy here in the Pilsen neighborhood, and students here say they are tired of violence in their own neighborhoods, not only in schools. And this morning, they stood united to send a message. On the one month anniversary of the Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland, Florida, that left 17 dead and others wounded, hundreds of students at Benito Juarez Community Academy in the Pilsen neighborhood walked out for 17 minutes to honor the fallen and call for common sense gun legislation. It's not just uh, gun violence that happened in Florida, for in Parkland. It's happening around us, it's happening near us. Uh, students should be able to feel safe in the school they go to. It is getting pretty old that the government is like now ignoring us after many mul and multiple uh, school shootings and that's, uh, that's obviously starting to affect us. Former Illinois Governor Pat Quinn, now a Democratic candidate for Attorney General, joined the call. While some schools around the country threatened discipline for the walkout, the new Chicago Public School CEO, Janice Jackson, says CPS supports the students. We will not enact any disciplinary measures. We think it's critically important that student voices heard um, at this crucial point in our history. Mayor Rahm Emanuel visited Benito Juarez Community Academy before the walkout, meeting with students who are part of a youth mentoring program. He continues to hammer Governor Rauner about vetoing a bill that would require gun stores to be licensed. Governor Rauner abdicated the responsibility of leadership by vetoing something when he looked when it was right for the future of these young men and women. The governor maintains that he vetoed the bill because it wasn't going to improve anything. He says it was only going to create more bureaucracy. Meanwhile, the students here say they will speak out the loudest at the polls. Reporting live in the Pilsen neighborhood, Jessica D'Onofrio, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Jessica, thank you. We also want to check in with Barrington. Students there left the classroom as well. Yeah, John Garcia is live with what's going on now, John. Yeah, there was a very large group of students, several hundred, maybe 500, maybe more than that, as a matter of fact, who took part in the walkout here at Barrington High School. Uh, we're actually in downtown Barrington right now, about a mile from the campus. Memorial Park is where they, many of them marched to when they left the school. The walkout began at the high school a little before 10 o'clock this morning, but uh, many of the students and many of the student body filled the football stadium first. That's where they heard some of the speakers. The school did not allow media on their property, nor did they participate in the event, but they say they did support the students and they had a lot of police and security on hand. Once the rally at the stadium was over, however, uh, many of the students marched to the park here, leaving the campus. They were warned that they would be marked absent for the classes that they missed. Nevertheless, several hundred students continued to take part at this point enough is enough you know this is a perpetual american tragedy that keeps happening over and over again and nothing seems to get done even though our lawmakers continue to talk about how saddened or how tragic the events are nothing seems to be getting done i feel like some of the students don't feel safe in the school with everything going on um, we need to do something about this there's too many kids dying that haven't even lived for either mental health reasons you know no matter what your viewpoint is you have the right to come out and protest and I support them doing it just as much as I support these kids right here. There were a number of gun rights advocates here as well who support arming teachers, but they say their objective is the same as the other protesters who are here protecting all of the students. The students have just dispersed within about the last couple of minutes here. They say, however, this is not the end. Live in Barrington, John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right, John, appreciate the update. Thank you. And